Once beyond mountains and forests, beyond the seas, there lived an old man in a humble little village. And the old man had three sons. The oldest, he was thought to be a smart lad. The middle one was rather average. And the youngest? Well, the villagers had decided he was just a dumbbell. Long ago, or soon thereafter, misfortune struck. Someone began to wander their fields, trampling their wheat. In all their live-long days, the brothers had never known such calamity. They began to think. They began to guess. How to catch this thief? How shall we do it? And then it came to them. They must stand guard. Ivan, you go over there and walk the field along its boundaries. Meanwhile, we'll get settled here. Catch ourselves that nasty thief. Stars. One, two, three. Oh, I could count till sun up. Three, four, five, and six. I can't do it on my fingers. So this is our little thief. Well, I'll show you a thing or two. master now. But free me swiftly, if you will, and I shall give you two horses. Steeds more beautiful than anything you've ever seen. another gift for you. A magic pony named Zip. Don't make fun. Zip is very, very small and has a saddle and long, long ears. The two steeds, if you wish, fell. But never part with Zip the magic pony. Not in this world or the next. 
Zip will be your friend, your best friend. Farewell. I'm free to go. Hey there. Hey! Just don't forget, you stay out of our fields. Is really so is the ceiling where could I collapse where can I lay down this, this poor, poor drunk, drunk can't save his roaring head. head so stamp your foot don't spare that boot when, when you're, you're drunk, drunk you're, you're really, really drunk. drunk oh, oh we, we might, might as, as well, well be dead, dead when, when you're, you're really really, really Here. Oh, what have we? It's our dumbbell brother and two horses. Beautiful is the day, and everything is glowing, just like the month of May. The flowers feel like growing And every bird I talk to Has something sweet to say Shouldn't we get together? I wish it could last forever I bet you the best gets better On this beautiful day <gasps> Oh no! Oh, my horses! <laughs> my two beauties, such fine horses with manes of gold. Oh, my friends, what did I do? And now, some devil's stolen you. Don't blame some devil, Ivan. Your brothers took them away. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a disaster. No doubt about it. But I can help you set things right. Hop onto my saddle quickly and remember to hold on tight. Hey, Zip! Help me! Thank you.
Oh, wow. What an amazing little fire. Hey, hatfuls of light. But I don't feel any heat, and there's no smoke. What's so amazing about that, Ivan? This is the firebird's feather. But if you don't want to tempt fate, leave it right where you found it. Or you're in for troubles. Worse than any you've ever seen. What are you talking about? I'm no dumbbell. Trouble, Ivan. Worse than any you have ever seen. Trouble, Ivan. Now, in the capital city, they had a tradition. Nothing could be bought, nothing could be sold, until the mayor gave his signal. And so, as church bells ring to sound nine o'clock, here comes our mayor, all in gold, his herald trumpets, and in a loud voice cries, merchants, open up your shops, buy, sell, only keep down the noise, no fights, no disturbances of any kind. The merchants open up their shops and begin to hawk their wares. Hey, good people. Over here. Please, right over here. Whatever goods you need, we have them for you. Any sort you want. Furs, hair, sable, raccoon, marten. Take your pick, fine ladies. Here's your wheel, rims, collars, saddles, whips. Reins of rawhide. Over here, please. Right here. Pressed cakes. Pressed cakes here. Scoot apples. Fresh baked pies. Hey, kids. Hey, you kids. Hey, kids. Hey, you kids. Take a look at this gingerbread. Here comes our king. And that red-haired groom of his. Head of all his royal stables. Oh, my stars! Oh, oh, my heavens! <laughs> Looking at them is wonderful, but I want to own them. Oh boy, oh boy, oh yes, yes, mm, yes. Uh, uh. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, tell me, uh, who owns these two? Uh, come on now. Who owns two horses such as these? The pear sire is, is mine. And I'm their master too. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, I'm buying them. Uh, are you selling? Well, now, uh, no. Trading. And what do you want to trade them for? Aha! Hatfuls of silver. Two times five of them. Uh, yeah, yes, uh, uh, that would make then uh, 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 ten of them. Uh, uh, ten of them? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Uh, your hand then. Let us seal the deal. Uh, hey there. Weigh it out. <laughs> Yeah, 
Shame on you both, stealing from your own brother. Maybe you're smarter than Ivan. But Ivan's more honest. What are you staring at, you old snake? Take charge, you hear? Lead them off. Come and serve in my court. You will walk around dressed in gold, and I order you to take charge of my entire stable. Yes? Hey, that's terrific. Okay. Yes. I'm ready to serve my sire. I've been so faithful in my job. And now, to put me in disgrace? <laughs> it serves you right. From now on, you take orders from Ivan here. Well, Ivan, obedient subject mine, lead the stallions to the stables. me. I'm going to dump that little do-gooder out of this court. servant's life. Always fooling around. Now that good-for-nothing's chasing pigeons. The horses are fed and clean. He's in league with the devil, I'll bet. 
hobgoblins help him out, probably, braiding their manes for him. I'm going to catch you in the act, my little pal, and get the goods on you. night here in our city and everyone's at home asleep but something isn't right I feel restless I can't sleep let me loosen these forelocks and comb them out with a fine comb. I'll braid your manes and then gaze at your beauty. Oh, what horses you are. What jumpers. You're beautiful and tall. But in my heart, I love my zip the best of all. The little rogue's just tipped his hand. It's all over now, laddie. You're going to hang for this. stand here before you, sire, a guilty man. But do not have me executed and order me to speak. Oh, uh, <coughs> oh, uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, speak. But any lies, and it's the lash for you. <laughs> Your Ivan, and everyone seems to know this but you, dear sire, has been hiding from you. Not gold, not silver, but a firebird's feather. more, he's bragging you could bring the firebird itself right into this chamber. <laughs> if you but order it. Hey! Summon the dumbbell. It's time we heard his boast.
We have learned, my boy, <laughs> that you've been keeping something from your kind king and <laughs> from his royal treasury. A firebird's feather. I never gave you my hat. How'd you find out? No feather. Now, now look, where would I ever get a firebird's feather? Hey, dumbbell, talk, talk, or to the dungeon. Talk, talk. Oh. Forgive me, sire. Just this one time. No. And I'll never lie again. Uh, well, it, it is the first time, <laughs> so I'll overlook it this once. But now let's talk about this boast you've made. Bragging you could bring the Firebird right here, if I gave the command. Strike me dead right where I stand. I never said anything like that. Strike you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 I can't. I <laughs> Now, here's what I do command. You bring the Firebird here, into the royal chamber, or I'll see you hanged. Now, now. Now, be it. Oh, no. Now, he's crying. You're in trouble because you didn't listen to me, you know. Oh, Zip, what am I going to do? Can you help me, my friend? Well, as your friend, I'd say this is just a little job. A task, a really hard task, is yet to come. So, stop your grieving. But what am I going to do? Help me. You've got to help me, Zip. <laughs> it's very simple. When you know how. We need two troughs, the finest flour, and some wine. Tomorrow morning, as the sun comes up, we'll be off. Just before the sun comes up, firebirds come here to drink from the stream. And here, we'll catch them! from another world. Wow. Thank you. 
like I've got one. So where's that Ivan gotten to? Oh, if you ask me, sire, <laughs> he should be taught a lesson this time. I mean, to ignore your royal command like this. for me, though. I'll skin him ten times over. <laughs> Twist up this little rope here. Hmm. Make a fine little noose, nice and strong for that little hand of his. Well, it's all over now, laddie. I'm going to catch you with my little pal. I think I'll twist it even tighter and see what you did to me. Oh! 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 You dirty, rotten little kid. I hope they stretch you on the rack. I hope you choke. I hope you fall off. So, uh, what have you brought to town? Huh? Huh? Uh, let, let's have the Firebird. Sire, just a second now. First, have all the windows closed tight. <laughs> you know, to make it dark in here. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Hey, get to it! Hey, get to it! Let's have all the shutters closed up tight. this time. But I'll have another chance. And then, 
my little friend. Watch out. Oh! Ow! There is an ocean, my children, in distant lands. An ocean which only true men of the sea have sailed. And they bring back tales of a beautiful maiden who lives there. Not just any maiden, for she is daughter of the sun, and the moon is her brother. They say she is all in red, riding in a golden sloop, steering with an oar of purest silver. Some have even heard the songs she sings. This is where that Ivan really gets it. This will fix him. <laughs> on his back and on his chest, scrub some here and scrub some there. On his back and on his chest, rinse him once and once again. Rinse our skinny little king. like this royal bath. Make him rosy, make him shine. Scrub him once and once again. Then we scrub all over again. Scrub our skinny little king. Hey, more, more, more. <laughs> Let's have steam. Much more hotter than before. First his back and then his arms. Then his skinny little chest. Hey, where's the water? Come on, where's the steam? Send steam! Uh, sire, Ivan, your pet dumbbell, here in court, swore by your royal beard that he knows another bird. That is what he called the maiden princess. And what's more, he's telling everybody how he could go and get her. Listen. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Listen, Ivan. Now they tell me you've been bragging about another bird you're not afraid to catch for us. The maiden princess, no less. What? <laughs> Who said that, sire? My goodness, that's some rumor somebody told you. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Sire, whatever you heard, all I know is that nobody's getting me into any more trouble. Don't get smart with me, and hear me well. I give you three days to bring the maiden princess here. Fail? <laughs> and for a start, we'll tear you into tiny little pieces. where the maiden princess lives on her golden boat. Wow! <sighs> what a wonderful world we live in, Zip. <sighs> Just full of wonderful things.
not right for you to moon like this, sire. Ivan's bamboozled you. Put him where he belongs, sire. Put him six feet under. You mean rotten kid, you? I hope they find you dead in some ditch. Stone cold. Abandoned. Oh, 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 matchless maiden. Will you? Would you? I must have you as my queen. Oh, from the moment I first saw you, my heart, my soul, belonged to you. 
Oh, those eyes, so bright, I, I, I see them in the night and toss and turn, and in broad daylight they're sheer torture. Let me hear one loving word, just one. Everything is ready for our wedding. Tomorrow morning, light of my life, you and I <laughs> shall be one. Why is there going to be a wedding? <laughs> oh, no, I can't marry you ever. Oh, lovely princess, I, I, I can't help it. I, I'm dying to marry you. <laughs> if you really mean it, you first must get me my ring from the bottom of the ocean. And I want it within three days. Hey, get Ivan in here now. <laughs> three days. <laughs> Listen. And listen well, Ivan. Go back to the ocean, and from its bottom, bring me the ring of the Maiden Princess. Uh, listen, uh, uh, do it, my boy, and I'll give you everything. Hey, sire, whatever you heard, all I know is nobody's getting me into any more trouble. <laughs> We're going to have a wedding here, my friend. Stop shilly-shallying and hit the road. So off they went, straight back to the ocean. And there, lying just offshore, there was a sight to behold, a marvel of the ages. Enormous, gigantic, mighty the whale. 10 years now he's been suffering like this, not knowing how to find forgiveness. Look at that terrible burden on his zip. What did he do to suffer so? He was sentenced to lie here like this for swallowing 30 boats, whole, in one gulp. All he has to do is set them all free, and his curse will be lifted. Where do you hail from, good people? Where do you go? We're from the capital city. Searching for the maiden princess's ring. Why not look around your seven seas and find it for us? The maiden princess's ring. May I first ask you both why I'm bound here in this suffering? And how much longer it's going to continue. All this suffering. Ha! Ah, we can tell you that, Almighty oh Whale. If you find the ring for us, we know what it is you did. We can set you free. And your sentence will be over. Ha <laughs> ha! I can. I will. I'll find what you seek. Hey, good people, villagers, come out. Hey, good people, villagers. If you don't want to end up floating in the deep, you'd better hurry out of here, but fast. You're going to see a miracle. The ocean's going to boil up. And mighty the whale is gonna move! Oh, oh, hurry to the bridge! Hi, load the wagons! Oh, hey, check each house! Over here, over here, hurry, hurry! Oh, don't fall, don't oh, slip down! Hurry, don't fall, don't hurry, get hurry, please, hurry, oh. hurry, oh, hurry, hurry, hurry!
You're about to see a miracle. <laughs> we can set you free. You've been suffering here like this because of those 30 boats you've swallowed. Free them and your sentence will be over. deep to bring you back the maiden's ring. Doesn't look like that old whale's going to find that ring for us. Hooray! Oh, oh, oh thanks a lot, mighty whale. <laughs> and to you, my friend. And now. Farewell. What you did for me will never be forgotten. I, I, I can't budge this thing. Uh, what's the darn thing full of anyway? Mount top, Ivan. Quick. And remember, hold on tight. We're off.
My royal respects to you. <laughs> Your ring, my love, is found. <laughs> I, I know I'm being bold, but I, I, I so want to marry you. I know, I know. But the thing is, we can't be wed. But why, light of my life? I, I love you with all my heart and, and, and soul. I can't marry somebody so gray, someone who's so toothless. Well, I, yes, I may be old, but I'm in great shape. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Here, take a look. You're gray, and I am but 15 years old. Mm -hmm. Turn yourself into a young man, and I'll marry you immediately. Now, Princess, really, uh, have a heart. I, I, I mean, I can't be born all over again. If you've got the heart for it, you can be young all over again. Oh! Listen. Tomorrow at dawn, have three big kettles set up in the main courtyard and build good fires under two of them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The first kettle fill with ice-cold water, the second with oil that's boiling, and the third with milk, heated until it's scalding. And if you really want to marry and be a handsome young man again, take off your robes, Take a dip in the milk. <laughs> then spend a moment or two in the boiling oil. And then in the cold water. You do this, old sire. And you'll be a young and handsome prince. Rest easy, sire. I've got a plan. You have Ivan try the three kettles first. And if it works, you follow him. <laughs> Oi! Uh, tomorrow at dawn, in our big courtyard, you, Ivan, are going to take a trial dip for me in these three kettles. <laughs> one with milk, one with oil, and one with water. Uh, but that's how they scald pigs and turkeys and chickens. I could maybe try the cold water, <laughs> but I'm not about to be boiled. You're not talking me into that. What? Are we negotiating? Lock him up on bread and water. You've got a thing or two to learn. Then, my boy, you'll bathe. Later, we'll talk. <laughs> You've got a thing or two to learn, my boy. <laughs> Later. <laughs> It would have been better if we'd never met. Forgive me if I've done anything wrong. I'm finished, Zip. It's over. My king has ordered boiling oil. <laughs> here, here. Don't cry now. It's all right. We'll take care of this somehow. I'd rather die myself, Ivan, than abandon you right now. What you do is ask your sire if before you take that bath, you can say goodbye to your friend, Zip. He'll agree, I'm sure. 
And now, say your prayers and get some sleep. down and get yourself into the kettle. Of course, my king. But before I do, may I beg you for a favor? I would like to see Zip, my pony. Just one last time. Oh, Zip. <laughs> doesn't cook him, that boiling oil will for sure. <laughs> All right now, Ivan, this is it. Enough is enough. hesitates is lost. Do it now and I'll be young. <laughs> oh. Oh. Young. <laughs> When our king finally climbed out, he wasn't a moment younger, but much, much wiser.
find Ivan, a prince himself, took the princess for his own. This castle was their home. And Zip? Zip lives there too. Shouldn't we get together? I wish it could last forever. I'll bet you the best gets better on this beautiful day. Soft breeze is blowing. The flowers are bleeding. It's good in knowing there's happiness inside of me. Beautiful is the day. And everybody's smiling. Lovely in every way. No one can stop from shining. And everyone I talk to has something sweet to say. Shouldn't we get together? I know it could last forever. I'll bet you the best gets better on this beautiful day. Day. 